Camille Pizarro was deeply involved in the lives and education of his children, and not surprisingly he was interested in offering them opportunities to express themselves. Lionel Pizarro, one of the artist's great-grandsons, describes this charming portrait painted in 1898. And it's a portrait of our grandfather named Paul Emile, who was 14 years old at the time the portrait was executed. He's sitting in his father's studio, practicing painting like every single son of Pizarro, and he had five. Paul Emile was obviously the youngest, therefore he had a shorter experience, living experience as an artist with his father because he was only 19 in 1903 when his father passed away. The eldest son, named Lucien, was almost a generation older than Paul Emile. I mean, could have been a father himself at the time. Paul Emile, whom I knew, and I spent most of my children holidays uh, in his home in, in Normandy, uh, had uh, quite a number of souvenirs of his father and uh, of the life in the house of Erani. Uh, the place where he's sitting is the studio of his father in Erani, this uh, little village between Paris and Dieppe. And the studio is uh, built in the middle of the garden. It's separate from the house itself. Today, that uh, property no longer belongs to the family, but uh, it has remained more or less in the same state as it was at the time. It's a typical example of the family life in the Pissarro family, and the way, basically, Camille Pissarro, not only as an artist, but also as a father, decided to raise his children and to educate them with a strong artistic background, obviously. <laughs> 